actually not going to be working on a four-wheeled vehicle. We're actually going to be working on a boat. Um, about two months ago, I went down to Panama City and picked up a um, an offshore center console fishing boat uh, to replace my pontoon with. Um, we gone out on it a few times, uh, primarily up on the Tennessee River. Um, and one thing I've noticed about this boat is you have to constantly adjust the trim tabs to keep the boat level. It really, it really relies on those uh, trim tabs. Even a 50 pound kid in the boat, they get up and walk from one side to the other while you're underway, the boat will lay over to, to that side. Or uh, even if the wind changes directions. And well, when the boat lays over like that, it it's kind of startling for everybody on board if they haven't, you know, if they're not familiar with a boat like this. Um, well, anyway, like I started researching these automatic trim tab controllers. Um, I found a few companies out there that make them. They're varying in price range from two thousand dollars down to four hundred and fifty. Uh, Bennett makes one. Uh, Lenco makes one. Zipwake, I found them. And also found ElectroTab. Uh, I did a little research about all of these. Um, they're all fairly similar. Uh, the Zipwake system looked like it had to use their own tr in house trim tabs, which made that system very expensive. It was about $2,000 for the whole thing. Um, then it looked like it was, it was a good price, you know, it was a good price, but it used a, uh, had an external, I guess, brain box or control unit. Tab, which kind of what sold me on them was it was fully integrated. Um, the, the brains of the of the whole unit are in the keypad. No other external boxes you have to wire in. Um, really simple. Should be plug and play. Only seven wires. Uh, so I gave their sales team a call and spoke with the guy there, and he was actually a customer of Lenco or of ElectroTab before he started his employment there. Uh, he uses their device on his boat. He's got a small center console like I do, and kids also, they get up and walk around, and you know, he, he, he said that it worked great for that. It was, uh, it reacts fast. If the boat were to, if it leans for any condition, uh, weight shift or wind, wind change, the, the, uh, the, the controller will, adjust the trim tabs almost immediately and, and level the boat back out, which is almost seamless. So I ordered one. Um, it should be at my house today. We're going to we're gonna unpackage it, take a look at it. Um, then I'm going to take y'all to my boat. The next few minutes of the video, we're going to install it. My boat currently has a Lenco manual controls in it with Lenco tabs on the back of the boat. Uh, ElectroTab says that their device will work with the uh, Lenco tabs. They've not tested it, but in theory, um, there's no reason why it shouldn't work. So, we're going to install it, and then we're going to go out on the water and uh, test this baby out. And I'm hoping that it will kind of automate the trim system and make the boat more user-friendly and just really just all around more pleasurable to drive. So, uh, here we go, let's go put this thing on. It looks like electric tab. Auto leveling control just showed up. Wow, it's a small package. It's amazing. Let's get this thing inside and see what we got here. Well, I was kind of thrown off when I walked outside today. The box uh, from electric tab showed up. It's tiny. Like. I thought my wife ordered a, a watch or something, you know, or maybe a wallet had come in this, you know, it's 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 a tiny box, you know, and then I see why I opened it up, the controller, that's all there is to it. It's literally just the switch panel and all the brains are built into it. I really like it. This is the lid coat key that I have currently. It has no LED indicator lights or anything. It's very basic. I was uh, kind of surprised and kind of let down a little bit that it is the Lenko system that uses 
this this black box here, which I think might complicate things. I'm about to undo all the zip ties, holding all the loose wiring to this system, and try and get it out where I can see what's what, and hopefully just isolate the wiring going to the uh, servos on the back of the boat so I can hook them directly up to the letter tab system. Okay, looks like I found the wiring going to the trim tabs. These come out of the bottom of the black box, loop around. Here's, this looks like power and ground to the Linko system. I'm guessing This orange wire coming out of this loom here is probably the ignition trigger. And then the only other four wires coming out go to these two plugs, which actually are labeled pork, starboard trim. So here's the four wires for the trim. Here is five and six. The these are going to be the ground and and the positive feed. And then I'm going to take a multimeter and test this little orange wire, the only other wire left, and see if that's the ignition trigger. I got the uh, Linko controller out. Now we're going to get the electric tab controller and go ahead and put it in. Since the rest of the work's gonna be done underneath the console wire. Now, I think the hole might be big enough, but my, I'm still gonna have to drill the holes for the mounting points. The electric tab unit came with this template I'm gonna use. Um, I'm probably what I'm gonna do to uh, mark these holes. I'm probably gonna cut this circle out and help me center it over the existing hole in the console. And probably center punch these two markers for the, uh, for the mounting points for, for the electric tab unit. Okay, the hole for the electric tab and the Linko unit, um, it's almost the same size. It looks like the Linko unit may be just a hair bigger, um, which is fine. So we're just going to center this template over the hole and make sure that it's you know straight with the console and the rest of the boat, and then center punch these two little holes here so we can drill them out. Fingers crossed. Nice. That was pretty easy. The template was right for once. I mean, sometimes you get these templates for, for stuff. You know, they don't, they're not exact. But uh, <clears throat> this one worked out pretty well. So, you know, I might not screw this down yet. Um, but, you know, it might be easier to attach the wires 
with it laying up here like that. And then we'll put it into its hole, you know, and, and tighten up the wing nuts. Are. What I ended up doing was just cutting the harness off of the old Linko black box because it's got all the wiring I need in it and it's long enough to reach. I'm gonna strip back this uh, insulation on the outside so we can access all the wires in it. We should, this should be just plug and play at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The exactly how many wires we need. Hook this thing up. Positive and negative. Power feed. Port and starboard trim tab. And the ignition trigger for the auto retract function. So essentially. What I'm going to do now is just pass these wires up through the hole where the controller is going to be mounted. I'm going to go back on top side and strip the insulation back and plug these into the ElectroTap controller. test uh, I have to say I'm pretty impressed I think electric has got a great product um, you see in the video me and my dad actually were both in the boat going from one side to the other trying to get the boat to lay over and the boat would start to but almost immediately the electric tab would take over and level the boat right back to the way we had it set wiring it was a breeze um, they advertise that it works with Linco actuators it did worked fine with them calibrated easy uh, the level indicators all function just like they're supposed to. Um, I wish I would have put this on my boat a long time ago. It's made my boat a lot more user friendly and a lot more pleasurable to ride in for other people and for me to drive. Um, you know, if you're on the fence about one of these things, I would definitely give ElectroTab a try. I'm going to put a link to their Amazon ad in the description so y'all can check that out. And like and subscribe to Overland Camel. I'll see y'all next time.